Welcome to the very first episode of Gadget Sal, and that's me, your pal Sal. And what we are going to do on this channel is go out and buy these gadgets on either Wish, Amazon, thrift stores. They can be new or used, flea markets maybe even. And what we're going to do is rate them from 0 to 10. 0 being the worst, 10 being the best. And these are just going to be my opinions. Everybody's opinions are going to be different. So we're going to see what it does, how it does it, and if I like it or not. Let's get started. Three blade held spiralizer. So you hold it and you spiralize the vegetables. Now, I don't know if some of, this pro some of these products are going to be missing anything. Uh, they shouldn't because I checked them before beforehand. And if they are, well, I mean, they were pretty cheap. Comes in one, two, three, three parts here. And it has buttons here. Button to change blades, I believe. Yes, right here has blades. Change the blades there. And let's see what it does. I'm gonna reset it. There's a red button, black button, white button. Cut the edges off the potato here. Right in there, it has some spikes. Perfect. Put this down here. Let's see how smooth this is. That is extremely smooth wow the action is very very smooth there's no resistance whatsoever and that's about it whoa and it has a core that's pretty cool there it is this is what you're gonna get. Something like that. How about if I just, without cutting the top, well, it does leave a pretty thick piece there, right on top. And then let's press the number one button. You'll see the spikes come out right there. Put that in there. Let's see what it, let's see what that does. Oh. Spiralizing it even thinner. Look at that. Wow. And of course, there's a core. Let's do it again. We're going to press the number two button inside. And all you have to do is start spinning. Wow. It's even thinner than the other one. This is really nice. From zero being the worst, 10 being the best. For what it is, it's made out of plastic, which is really easy to wash. You can just fit this in any drawer. It's gonna go anywhere, actually. Um, I would, from a zero to a 10, 8.3. Just because of how small it is, how useful it is. The action is smooth, easy to use, and 8.3. I think that's a pretty good score for it. I got this one at a flea market. These were pretty cheap. Kitchen safety can opener. Six in one. That's what it looks like. Uh, plastic, steel, metal. The inside here is uh, uh, rubber. Let's test it out. Test out the bottle opener. That's pretty easy. <laughs> really easy. Uh, let's do it again. Oh. Perfect. And the last one here. Well, how, how about we try it reverse? This way. You pull. Oh, yeah. Action is very smooth on the bottle opener part. I really like that. I like this, uh, the grip to it here. When you're opening the bottles. Here we go. How about this top here? I don't know if it really fits right in. This one is too big, this side. I mean, I'll try to grip it and see. I mean, it worked, but I, mean, I don't know. It just didn't fit well. There we go. And this should fit over it perfectly, and it does. It fits over perfectly, and it has a, 
a little bit of give here so you can actually squeeze and grip it. Oh yeah. Yep. We'll close it back up again. As tight as I can. Let's try it again. It fits over perfectly. Yes. All the way out. See how perfect it is? That's nice. A jar of peanut butter here. Let's tighten it even more. And let's see if it fits over it perfectly. And it does. Check that out. That's pretty cool. Oh, I can't grip it this way. It's just... It, it keeps on turning. Nope. But if I grip it this way, I'm pretty sure it'll clamp on it. My whole palm. If I palm the whole thing. Yeah. If I palm the whole thing, it's the same thing as with, with my hand. You see? I mean, why would you even need to use this? Okay, so then it has this part here. Uh, let's see if you can see it. This part right there. So this will pull the tab off this here. Can of beaches. So, hopefully it'll show you here. Right under. In case you don't have any nails, I guess. Boom. That was easy. So as we can see, this has many uses, and it's pretty interesting, the design, clamshell. Certain things you can grip, certain things you can't grip that well, like this here, six in one. I would say it's more um, four in one, if you count one, two, whoa, three, <laughs> four maybe, maybe. So let's say three in one, half of what it says it does. I would say it does. I would give it a 6, 6.5. A 6.5 for what it does. Chef's Basics 8-piece mini mixer. I did get this one at Goodwill. Um, motor to mix. And I'm pretty sure, yep, it requires some batteries. Double A. Measurements on there. Oh. <laughs> it works. Good. It was a waste of money. Maybe. But it works. That's pretty cool. Picture says a thousand words. Pancake mix. <laughs> you see how it's kind of underpowered? It's kind of struggling. I mean, it's mixing. I'll give it that much. I still think it's underpowered, but it's mixing it. I mean, I know it's not a, it's not an egg beater. It's the the big electric ones, but. Let's see what the consistency is like. Yeah, I think I overdid it on the milk. Still kind of clumpy inside. A 4.4. 4.4. It doesn't pass the 5. Um, I think anything passing 5 and a half, 6, you know, you would say, okay, I think I can deal with some of its flaws. Next one. Good Grips Spiralizer. By the way, five ninety nine also. Goodwill. It's actually brand new. It still has the, uh, the tape right on. The blades. Tape on this one too. Drop that right down in there. That's pretty cool. It has a suction cup. So it won't work here because I'm using a plastic table. If you use it on a flat surface that might be marble. It says to cut the ends. I'm not going to cut the ends. Let's see what it's like. Okay, well, we'll cut the end. Cut. Where did it go? Insert that there, and it still falls. <laughs> okay, we'll just... And check that out. That's pretty cool. Pretty smooth. It's really nice. See how it has that core center? That's what's left. A big gigantic spiral. That's pretty cool. It's a lot. It's huge. It's, it sticks together. Check it out. Check it out. That's long there. That's cool. That's cool. How about this green one? Green is my favorite color. Push it 
forward there. Wow. The action. The action on this thing is so nice. This is pretty cool. I like this this gadget a lot. And this is what it made. Spaghetti. This is more spaghetti like. Last blade. Perfect. Let's see how easy this is. Goes right in. This is like what you would do to a potato. To fry it up, I guess, on a stick. That's what I've seen. Slides out, out of the way. So just be, no, it even slides all the way out. Maybe so you, you can just wash it. How about we don't cut it? Straight in. Straight in. That's easy. Check that out. If you want, like, uh, some type of thin fry, it'll work. And this is how thick it comes out. This is the zucchini. What I got on the carrot. I don't know, you tell me what you guys think. Um, ease of use on this machine, very easy to use. Build quality, very nice. For $6, I guess it wasn't that bad. The only thing that kind of sucks, the machine is pretty bulky. If we compare it to, to the other spiralizer, look at the difference. You can fit this right inside there and then still store it. Ouch. Some potato juice in my eye. <laughs> But this is a lot quicker. I'm gonna give it a 7.2. I really like it. It's, it's a little bit bulky, but you can find space for it anywhere. Especially with this thing folding up, this handle coming off, coming off, and this coming off. Storage case for all of this. Goes right in. Two, three, close it, done. Guys, this is your pal Gadget Sal. If you like this video, give us a like and a subscribe and hit that notification button if you want to see more of these videos thank you very much for watching thank you